Serious, guess what day it is? It's tattoo day. Do 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 do. Bye, boy. Have a good day, boy. Do 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 do. It is every tattoo collector's favorite day, and it is new tattoo day. Now with that said, it is not just any tattoo day, it is a start of a new tattooing journey. Yes, today is the day that I start my chess piece. Now, if you are a longtime subscriber to this channel, you probably know what I plan on getting on my chest. But if you're new to this channel, first of all, hi, welcome to Evolve Inc., your one-stop shop for all tattoo-related videos. But anyway, I plan on getting on one side of my chest connecting to my Dragon Ball sleeve, uh, Shenron from Dragon Ball. If you guys know who Shenron is, you'll probably be familiar. But if you don't know who he is, he's pretty much a Japanese style dragon. So I'm gonna be getting him. Actually, we're starting that today. And on the other side of my chest, I plan on doing a portrait of my dog, my dog Sirius. And I'm super excited about that. I cannot wait to start that piece. He's my boy, so you know, I need to get him permanently on my body. I love him. Now, what makes this tattoo appointment so special is the fact that it wasn't even actually supposed to start till probably around October to like December. I scheduled the appointments already, but Matt, my tattoo artist Matt, he's always booked up like crazy. But I just had a feeling and I got lusty to get tattooed and start this piece. I texted him the other day and I was like, yo, do you have any availability, any cancellations? He was like, yeah, actually come in this day. And I was like, bet I'll be there. Let's get this thing started. And I thought it would be a great idea to take you along with me. Now, I got all my tattoo aftercare products yesterday, so I'm all good with that. But the one thing that I didn't do yet was eat something. And that is crucial before going to get a uh, any tattoo, especially on the chest. So I'm gonna go run in the store real quick, get some food and get some snacks for during the tattoo process, the tattoo session. So, you know, I'll be right back. Now, I got the snacks, but they didn't allow me to record in there. So I had to skip that whole section, but I got all the essentials. I got, you know, monster, me and my tattoo artist's thing. I always get him a monster. That's how we crush each tattoo session. I got, of course, a chocolate chip cookie. You know, that snack during the middle session. If you know, you know. Got a nice sandwich. And of course, gotta stay hydrated with a nice bottle of water, you know. So I'm gonna eat this sandwich real quick and then we're gonna head over to the tattoo appointment. And as the time gets closer, you know, to start, I always get those butterflies. I cannot friggin' wait. I, I just cannot wait. Now, the one thing that I'm bummed out about, Matt only has four and a half hours free today, and it's gonna be a chess piece. Now, it's originally supposed to be four sessions long, but I think those were all day sessions, so I'm kind of curious about how much he is going to get done today. Am I gonna walk out with a half of a chess piece? Probably. I'm anxious to see how much he could get done today, which I'll sit all day if he wants me to. Hopefully he has a cancellation afterwards. I don't know, Let's let's find out. We have arrived to the tattoo shop, but we were early. Which in reality, isn't really a bad thing. If anything, I always recommend, it's a car driving by. If anything, I recommend always being at least a half hour early to your tattooing session. Now I packed my little, you know, tattooing session bag, but also uh, YouTube stuff, cause I gotta make some content. But um, let's pack this up and let's head in there. I know we're early, but let's still just go in. So we are inside the tattoo shop right now. Matt is finishing up with somebody else cleaning out the whole area. I did my form and everything like that, so we should be getting started fairly soon. Yeah, I'm already in the process. Got the formula done and all that. So the last time I was here, the tattoo shop was like half the size, but they completely like just redid everything and also expanded the whole tattoo shop. This is Matt's area. It's 
pretty damn huge compared to what I'm used to. So I'm super excited to get uh, tattooed here, which we're gonna be starting shortly. Told everybody that tradition is get you a monster. <laughs> so fun fact about my tattoo artist, Matt, he actually is good at all kinds of art. So if you see right here, he does a lot of oil paintings. All these are ones that he did, I believe himself. All back there as well. He is in the back getting the stencil done right now, or getting the stencil ready, which I can't wait to see how that turned out. But also on top of that, I need to try to figure out how I'm gonna record while at the same time, you know, not interrupt him while I'm doing it. So I have some tripods and stuff, but I'm not sure. I, I just don't wanna inter interfere and disturb him while we're, you know, tattooing. The shaving process. It was it was super hairy yesterday. I was like, I better do Matt a favor. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I've known Matt for literally years, and I gotta say, him shaving my chest was a little awkward, but whatever. So, what are you thinking, like having I it think all? That, I think that'll stay in enough. You have to put a shirt on once I put the stunts on, and you know what? I can even like we can cheat the horn a little bit make it just like you know a little smaller so it doesn't pop out you know yeah i mean even if it did pop out i mean it's not that big of a deal about a collar shirt he's talking about like a t-shirt like a t-shirt right at the sternum so like when I do bring like when we do put the stents on whatever frame that works in actually maybe sit I'll bring it over like like the frame from like the dog you know what I mean maybe mm -hmm. it'll cut maybe parts of the frame will come over into this little bit and underneath like the whiskers like the hair off his chin yeah I'll come up over you know what I mean kind yeah, whatever, of, oh, whatever. I have them overlap a little bit so we just got the stencil on I am I'm blown away with just how the stencil looks. But uh, we are going to get ready in just a second. Got to use the bathroom, last, last minute pee break. And we're going to get this game rolling. So I just asked Matt what he thinks of the sternum. Because I think you got yours done, right? You got yeah. yours like up here. Yeah, and he said, it, he said it's not fun and it sucks, so. Yeah, he was excited about it. And I told him not to me. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so we're about to start. So let's get into it. So we just got done the outline. Coming along swimmingly so far, it looks friggin' awesome. Now we're gonna start some shading. So we just got done the first session. I gotta say the chest, we did some shading, we did some line work. Overall, I would give it probably a six or a seven out of 10. And we went in the armpit area, we went into the center of the chest. Overall, it wasn't that painful. Now, let's get home and I'll show you where we're at so far. This is only session one, so it's not complete yet, but you'll kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's done. Yeah. Matt, as always, thank, thank you, buddy. You're welcome. So inside the tattoo studio, I couldn't act like an absolute fool, but oh my God, this tattoo is gonna be sick. I mean, it looks sick already, but once it gets done, it's gonna look absolutely insane. And I cannot wait for you to see it, so let's get home. And just like that, I'm home. So I just got done washing my new tattoo for the first time, cleaned it, dried it, letting it air out for a little bit, which is super important for a new tattoo. 
But um, I gotta say, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite and best tattoos that I've gotten. Now, the only thing that sucks is that it's not fully done yet. And it's gonna be super annoying till it gets done, but we scheduled an appointment on April 9th and possibly sooner to get not only this part done, but the whole chest. But without further delay, I wanna show you what it looks like so far. You'll get a good gist of what it's gonna look like in the very end. So let's swap over to that. Now I had a lot of fun doing this tattoo vlog. If you enjoyed it as well, be sure to give this video a like just to show me that you actually enjoyed it. And if you wanna watch more tattoo related content, be sure to check this playlist out right here. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.